Welcome to Little Newton. Perpendicular and parallel lines, skill number one, word problems. Look at the picture below and choose the letters that contain perpendicular lines. Pick the numbers below the selected letters. What is the sum of these numbers? Let's break down the question and understand it, shall we? Look at the picture below and choose the letters that contain perpendicular lines. Do you know what type of lines we are asked to look out for? Yes, perpendicular lines. Do you know what perpendicular lines are? Exactly! They are two lines that meet at a right angle. Take this brick wall for example. Do you notice that this line and this line meet at a right angle? Great! These two lines are perpendicular lines. Pick the numbers below the selected letters. Once we have chosen the letters that contain perpendicular lines, we will have to pay close attention to the numbers found below those letters. What is the sum of these numbers? With those numbers, the question asks us to add them up to find the sum. Alright, now that we've understood the question, let's move on to solve this word problem. Look at the picture below and choose the letters that contain perpendicular lines. Can we identify the perpendicular lines in each letter? Let's begin with the first letter we have, H. Look closely. Does H have perpendicular lines? Yes, these are the perpendicular lines in H. Next, let's look at the letter M. Do you think there are any perpendicular lines in M? No, there are no perpendicular lines in M. How about the letter T? Yes, the letter T has perpendicular lines. Finally, what about letter V? Does V have perpendicular lines? No, it does not. Now, we know that the letters H and T both have perpendicular lines. Pick the numbers below the selected letters. What are the numbers under H and T? That's right! The numbers 13 and 37 are under letters H and T, respectively. Thus, the sum of these numbers is equal to 13 plus 37 equals 50. Hence, the sum of the numbers is 50.